What's going on guys? I used to work on a lot of burls back in the day. I had a whole number of videos on staining burls that became my thing. And it's been a while, so I wanted to do another one. This is a beautiful double burl back and top uh, that I made a, I don't know, probably over the last month. For some reason, I was going to do a rear route and then I top routed and cut that out and and had to have some fun getting here, but we've got a pine core, a burl top, or burl back, and we're gonna do a space burst. Milky Way burst, space burst, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna start with Angelus black leather dye. This stuff is gonna soak up into the pores like crazy. This is essentially all end grain. I did a black burl years ago. You can see that in the pic where I just stained a burl top black and then sanded it out. But we're gonna add some purple, some pink, some blues, and do a Milky Way color. So just experimenting with some different dyes. You can purchase these Angelus leather dyes in the link below. I use the big bottles because I go through a lot of this stuff, but you can buy the three ounce bottles. They're, they have those in stock right now. This should soak up pretty good. And we'll have to add a couple layers of dye to this. The black sanded back look is killer. But I wanted to have some fun as I've been experimenting. All right, so we tested two different versions of this, and I didn't like the back version, so I sanded off, added black again, but I did like the front version, and what I did on the back was I did much smaller sort of rings, and on the front I did much larger blobs. I think the blobs look better than the smaller ones, so I sanded off, started over, so let's show you how to do that. Even I need to experiment sometimes. So I've got red, purple, turquoise, rose, and yellow. And what we're gonna do is just the same technique, which is what we did on the front. We're gonna just go in in a large circle and do a color blob. This really kind of takes it to like a paisley-ish type of color. So that's yellow. And since the Milky Way is not uniform, even though I've got a uniform book match, we're gonna play with the coloring here to just wash it around. It's a little turquoise. The turquoise is the one color that doesn't look that great. The rose actually looks pretty cool. It does pick up a lot of the black, which is less than ideal. And I think I'm even doing a little bit bigger than I did on the back, but we're gonna take some neutral and wash it all together. It's a little blue. What have we done? A little purple. So this is just having fun. I think purple on a body, burl body would actually look pretty cool. So then what are we missing? A little bit of red. We'll just wipe in some red in a couple spots. A 
Now we're gonna get the neutral and wash it. You cannot replicate this neutral for some reason. I've tried it a couple different times and I've not had much luck. They've got a special formulation for this. So I would buy the neutral. So we've just got an old t-shirt. We're gonna drip this on pretty thick. We're just gonna wash this out, get the colors to blend a little bit better. Some black and neutral. Just clean it up in a couple spots. Looks a little bit more spacious, I guess. This is just the fun part of it. Playing around. Wipe it again with the neutral. And that really washes it in pretty good actually. Black just helps clean it up. At least that's my story. The purple, I'd say it's just slightly too purple. Do like a little bit more yellow just to get it to pop. So let's add that. The yellow really brightens it up. For some reason the red doesn't do that, but the yellow does. Wash it one more time. Some of you will love this, some of you will hate this, but that's what experimentation is. So that's it dry, this is it still wet. What we'll do is let this sit. I always do that steel wool trick. What that steel wool trick does is it pulls a lot of the color out and you get more grain. Not sure if I need to do that with this. We'll let it sit. Here's the completed Milky Way Burl stain. I like the back side much more so than the front side. For some reason the colors got washed out a little bit more on the front than on the back. What I've learned is to get the colors to stick more. You don't need as much steel wool. You don't need to use the steel wool as much. And then I buff this on the buffer. This is five coats of velvet oil. And then on the buffer, it's got a really smooth, nice feel. And then when I hit it with the buffer, it actually came out shinier than I thought. And the buffing compound got into some of the open burls and it gave it a really neat look actually. Was kind of surprised by that. Thought that that might be a negative. But I actually really like the way the back turned out. The front's kind of cool. This ends up looking like 
a paisley so it's like a burled paisley very unique it's got that uh, white pine core i think i got to put one more coat up here it's still a little tacky uh that could be just from the buffing compound i'll play over with that uh but this came out real nice not sure what i'm going to do with this body yet some of the bodies i have i've got a home for this may sit for a little bit we'll figure out what to do with this so again if you like guitar luthier building content like subscribe and click the bell uh it's supposed to help me on youtube so thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video